Let's look at a couple things to consider when you're doing an engine build to make sure it's successful at the point when you're putting it back together. So a couple things I'm doing on this one. This is uh, going to be a 1915 uh, VW engine, so 69 millimeter crank, 94 millimeter pistons. Uh, so it's an over square engine. <clears throat> uh, something I've done here also and I've found in the past that if you do a full flow on your engine where you're using a oil pump and rerouting the oil out through an external line to a filter prior to it coming back in to the block right here into the main gallery or oh, pardon me into the main gallery down here and you can see that i've drilled and tapped all the holes in this to be able to clean the galleries out completely so here you can see through that one on the back the mounts in the way there but Anyways, clean all those holes out and preset the depth on them so that you get your gallery plug sitting flush. And then also in the oil pump uh, housing on the one half of the case on the pressure side, I've drilled and tapped a plug that I just dropped in here. Drilled and tapped a plug to go down inside here in the block and that'll just get wound all the way in of course with some sealant and you'll have to and i'm getting into the tapered thread there now so i preset this with a plug and it will go pretty well flush i may have to just uh grind or file off the edge and pre-fit the pump in there and the idea behind that is, is that when you bring your oil pressure back into the gallery, into the main gallery, when it comes out of the pump, through the filter, and into the full flow um, port that supplies all the oil to the engine, uh, what happens is you get pressure going through the engine case, and of course out here and up to the main gallery, and uh, where it will pick up a signal for the oil pressure indicator light. But right in here, what happens is your pressure comes back against the pump. And if you don't put a pipe plug in here, and a lot of guys will just take the pump. And this is the same example. Here's a pump from the other engine that you see below me here that I took apart. And there's the outlet <coughs> tapped. And again, you can see I kind of filed that down a little bit to make it sure that it would go into the housing okay so that doesn't let any oil come up and in through the gallery so when it leaves the pump under pressure goes through the filter and comes back in here the pressure not only pressurizes the lube system but the pressure comes back against the outside edge of the pump and that's where you can have a consistent engine oil leak around the oil pump because guys will constantly have oil leaks there when they have a full flow engine and what they neglect to do is to pipe plug and uh, tap block this hole off so that no pressure can come back and circulate around the outside of the pump at whatever pressure you're running in your system. And then that causes a leak and you'll never get it to stop. Okay, so this is the way to avoid it. You tap the case. Um, if you're pretty tricky and you want to take the chance when the case is together, I don't know. I mean, if you, you know, some guys will tap these out while the engine's together. I completely think it's a bad idea because you're always going to get shavings in there. I mean, you can put grease on your tap and in the flute relief of your tap and stuff, but, you know, you're not going to get all of it. So the safest way to do it is when the engine's completely apart. So a couple other things here um, is when you pre-fit the case together, and I've had this one completely apart all the studs out of it and then deck the case to make sure that the two halves are going to fit completely together so that's definitely something to consider because you don't want to have any oil leaks because of a you know a little warp or something like that maybe the case ran with two or three bolts loose for years and and it gets a little bit of a warp there and then when you put it all back together you still have your oil leak so the other thing i've done here is um measured how far out the engine studs are with the case halves and you have to make sure that you have enough room to put on the large thick washers um, to even the torque i mean these things don't get torqued very much i think it's 24 foot pounds um, 
all my builds, I pull them to 30. But, you know, contrary to common belief, that's just opinion and what I've done. So they always go to 30, and I always go 30 on the head bolts too. Um, but, you know, the, the head bolts are the um, stronger uh, chromoly head studs that are not supposed to flex and stuff. Uh, so this one's been a line board. So I had the deck halves uh, indicated to make sure they're going to be nice and smooth. Cam bore was gauged. It's fine. Typically cam bores, they, they're okay. Uh, I had one, I had to remachine two halves of the case and then redo the, um, the main bearing bore alignment. So uh, a line board. And then I also had to have the cam case or the the case of the cam or the case halves machined for the camshaft with a new internal size now because the case halves would have been closer together so this one has been a line board it's first over it kind of looks a little rough in here but it's uh that's just where there was a little bit of oxidization under the bearing and it still shows a bit but it's really smooth i've already pre-fit the crank um with the case halves uh, together, um, preset the cam, just make sure it's good. And another thing to do is also make sure you clearance uh, the cam gear um, for uh, any increased oil pump size uh, so that the bolts on the back of the camshaft don't hit the back of the pump. And you can see on this one here, sorry, one-handed camera, you can see on this one here, I've actually, filed off the back of the pump uh, solid stud, the shaft that the one gear rotates on and uh, made sure that it, when it's in the case, that the camshaft bolts that hold the cam gear to the camshaft don't touch the back of the pump. I mean, and you know, I've seen this happen before where a guy bought an aftermarket pump, put it in his engine and bolted it in one afternoon and away he went and the increased pump size because he figured he wanted to put a bigger pump in it it caused the back of the pump to be closer and it was just milling off the back of the pump and it just literally filled the engine with liquid aluminum <laughs> right because it just filed everything down went all through the engine so for him trying to increase his lube system and not paying attention to knowing about clearances in the pump and i mean even if you put an aftermarket pump in with the engine together um, you can do some measurements to ensure that your cam is not going to be your cam bolts are not going to be running into the back of that new pump so other things to consider too is you know sizing all the studs putting the studs in putting in the case alignment dowels they're called shuffle pins to prevent the case from walking around um <clears throat> and then of course having a good set of these ones are i have the other two but these are brand new uh alignment dowels for the bearings so a few things to consider on building a VW engine.